That was that's I gonna be an interesting thumbnail. I purposely leave them just like that, <laughs> just so that you, the top of my head is. I think just you like, got the corner of. My I do. Yeah. I I actually love love it like that. Okay, cool. That we can roll it. like that. <laughs> <laughs> we can roll with just the corner face. Who's, hey, everybody. Who looking? What's going on, stream family? No one's here yet. That's okay. We Come on, stream. Roll in. Come on in. It's midnight. About midnight. Mm -hmm. Yay. All Who's right. still with us on this? I, we got three folks in the room. There we go. Yes. Can you tell me? Hey, Shan. Hi. Hey, y'all. Come on in. Come hey. on in. Where Shan are you streaming from? Where are you streaming hey, Shante. from? What time is it? What time is it? Y'all know what it is over here. It's midnight prayer. It is midnight. Grateful evening, Paulette. Hello, everybody. Come on in. Shalom. Hi, Nicole. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look who I got here. <laughs> <laughs> look who I got here. <laughs> hello, hello. First of all, you all have to know, right? Chris's bedtime is at 8 p.m. <laughs> Not all the brain cells are functioning, but we're gonna make it work. <laughs> we, this is a, you know, this God is, is gonna step this in. This is a the trial Holy, by the Holy fire. Spirit. At around 8 p.m., Chris is like, in. I'm out of here. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, night, night. So he is, I'm an owl and he's a lark. A he lark. gets up at like 5 a.m. Mm -hmm. And then when he's up at 5 a.m., he's like, Good morning, everyone. The world is brand new. Nobody, Rejoice. <laughs> nobody wants to hear from me. <laughs> Nobody wants to rejoice hear in the Lord, and we're like, I am. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shalom, this is everybody. the day the Lord has made. Yes, Let us rejoice and be yes. glad. That's what it's all about. Come on in, yes. You're an owl too. I know everybody on this channel is an owl because y'all have been up these last few days. No, no, they're, this is faithful. This I've been impressed. I know that there's some. This has been impressive. <laughs> this is the faithfulness. God bless y'all. That's this amazing. Is faithful. Yes. Can you just put where you are? where you are and what time it is where you are yes hello 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 love bug love bugs an owl we got all sorts of yep all sorts of owls ah, come on nicole's an owl says try the spirit by the spirit oh texas. 11 21 texas in the house 9 p.m in california texas kansas antigua i love antigua mm -hmm. yes new york Lashima. Hi, Lashima. Hello, Arizona, hello. Toronto. AZ. That's right. Atlanta from London. Hi, Zoe. Yes. Come on in, everybody. It's 420. Hey. Zoe, 421. Mm -mm -mm. Portland, Oregon, San Diego, <laughs> Tennessee. Come on. So we are still on our path to our miracles. Amen. Amen. How many people ran to their mountain today? How many people took off running to their miracle today? I want to see that. Can you just type for me if you got up this morning and you ran mm -hmm. to that promise? You ran to the miracle? No you ran back. to the mountain? Without looking back. Come on. Who ran? I just want to see. Can you all put the runner's emoji in there? <laughs> who ran? I did it. Brenda there ran. Go, Brenda. Yes. Hey, Shan ran. Hallelujah. Juanita, Juanita ran. I see the runner's emoji. Yes, Heather, you ran. Paulette, you <laughs> ran. That's right. <laughs> That's right. That's yes, right. Tyra ran. Hallelujah. Lady yeah. Brooks ran. Yeah, Nicole so ran. Right. Come on. You're and you're still running. Mm -hmm. Jesus. That's so good. You're still running. God, that's so good. Raquel, you ran. We're still running to the miracle. Mm -hmm. And I keep receiving emails about the miraculous that's been happening. Uh, someone had a breakthrough. Yes, thank you, Shan. Let's talk about that. You know, Shan, that's interesting okay, that Shan. you say that because I keep seeing whatever it is that your business is. I don't actually know what your business is. You never shared with me, but I did see some entrepreneurial pursuits, so I'm not mm -hmm. too sure what that is. Message me. You know, you can Amen. message me, uh, Shan, about that. I did see some entrepreneurial pursuits. That's so we like that. I'm glad we like to that see, in this community. <laughs> yeah, that you had Very a cool. good call, a good business call. Yeah, come on. That's right. Yes, keep running to the miracles. Let me see. Yeah, let's congratulate Shan right, right Shan. now. Congratulations, Shan. Come on. Let's see some hand claps. Come on, in let's the get chat. some claps, claps and running. 
We're going to congratulate <laughs> everyone as you receive Amen. your miracle. Every night, we're going to celebrate Jesus. Every Raquel night, got a new we're, apartment. Come on, Raquel. Every night, we're celebrating. Amen. It says, rejoice unto the Lord, mm -hmm. for he is good. So every night we are going to rejoice. Every night we're going to celebrate these miracles, mm -hmm. signs and wonders that continue to follow you wherever you go. Raquel, we oh, celebrate yes. your new apartment. Oh, yes. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. We're we're celebrating. We're in a celebratory state. Okay? For sure. For sure. For it's sure. a party. It is this a party. This is an amazing community in so many ways, baby. Yes. Really. I mean, the support that people have and the vision that you are casting for the future is so impressive. And I, I in my early morning hours, I did catch the prayer from last night, Mountains Beyond Mountains. And it's a powerful testimony. You all have powerful testimonies here. And I'm so I'm so glad to be with y'all tonight. Yay. Y'all know. It's about <laughs> to go. Come on, it's about to go down. It's double trouble. It says one can chase a thousand, two can chase ten thousand. And God told you that who God puts together, no man can tear apart. Amen. It also says that this man right here is blessed because I'm a virtuous woman. Now I'll go into the, the word, right? Where, wherever you go. So he's here tonight. <laughs> so we know it's going to be fire and a blessing. Amen. God has something so special for us tonight as we're thinking about uh, pursuing our miracles. And God showed me again. I want to remind you all. A couple of days ago, about three or four days ago, I was praying and I said, Father, I'm like, you know, uh, I was talking to the Lord and meditating on the word of the Lord. And God said, uh, expect miracles, seven days to your miracle. Now, I never usually hear words like that. Hallelujah. So when I heard that, I was like, yes, hallelujah. Jesus, I said, hallelujah. We, we, and so the Lord ex said that we needed to come into agreement and pray in agreement. Mm -hmm. It says, how can two walk together unless they agree? Mm -hmm. And so the fact that we're here tonight praying in agreement means that there are some things that we are establishing. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. We're establishing some things as we pray together. We're establishing some things in supernatural, elevated, spiritual places that we will see come to pass. It come says, on, though the vision may tarry, we wait for it. Because mm -hmm. it will surely do what? What will your vision do? I want you to type it. Your vision will fulfill Amen. itself. Raquel, your vision will fulfill. Amen. I want you to type for me. Your vision, my vision my will fulfill. Vision. Will my, be fulfilled. Yes, hallelujah. We my, believe it. Thank you, babe. Thank you, babe. My vision will be fulfilled. Hallelujah. Yes, Janice. Yes, Janice. My vision will be fulfilled. Yes, God. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Hey, Candace. <laughs> Hi, Candace. Just love her. <laughs> so we are going to get down into the word right now and yes. just glorify the Lord Hallelujah. and sing unto the Lord a new song. We're speaking from a place that we're going to go through the word and then we're going to pray about some things. So Amen. as we were praying earlier, uh, God had shown me, and it, it's it's coincidental that God has shown me a series of R's, yes. right? So uh, the first night was release. The second night was resist the resistance. The third night was um, re repair the breach repair the breach repair the breach but then it was run so as i was looking back it was like repair it was, the breach became re run yeah repair the breach became a run mm -hmm. so we were running last night and then tonight god has shown us that we're going to get some things returned to us it's about to get r r r real it's about to get <laughs> real <laughs> i was like is he okay <laughs> <laughs> is he broken i was like hey, he's what broken happened? Did my you husband stutter broke. yes <laughs> So it's about to get real and God showed us return. Amen. How many of you know that there are some things that belong to you that the enemy has attempted to steal from you? Mm -hmm. How many of you know? I want you to just type yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm aware. Mm -hmm. I'm aware. <laughs> I'm, I'm aware. aware. Mm -hmm. A part of spiritual warfare is actually understanding the tactics of the enemy. That's good. 
It's understanding what you're actually fighting against. And if you don't realize what has been stolen from you, you won't know what you're asking mm-hmm. for when you're asking for a miraculous blessing. Mm-hmm. So I Amen. went into prayer and I said to God, what is it that has been taken from your people? What is it that has been stuck or held up in other places that belong to your children? Mm-hmm. What victories belong to your children that the enemy has them believing does not belong to them? What prosperity, what abundance, what what healing, what love, what things, God, have you promised your people that the enemy thinks he can hold an embargo on? Mm -hmm. You're aware. So the first thing we do is we confess. We confess with our mouth. We see you, enemy. Mm -hmm. We see the plot and the plan of the enemy. But guess what? When we see the plot and the plan of the enemy, we do a couple of things. We go before the Lord and say, Father, how do we recover this thing? God, is this for us? Is Mm. it to be returned back to us? Mm -hmm. And who better to look to than David? Mm. (laughs) Who better to look to than David? Amen. A man after God's own heart. That's right. You see, David wasn't perfect. Mm -mm. David wasn't perfect. David didn't have it all together. But God still had promises for him. Because he sought God, because he loved God, because he knew that through God, he could recover all. He knew that through God, anything that belonged to him must be returned. I want you to put a demand on that word right now. Anything that belongs to me must be returned now. Must be returned now. Must be returned now. 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 Say now. Return it now. Let's hear it. Say it now. Let's get a now, y'all, in the chat. Return it now. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Return it now. That's good, babe. Mm. Return it now. That's right. Jesus, I feel this so heavy right now. This is a now word. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Return it now. The word tells us now faith doesn't just say faith. Mm -hmm. It says now in this very moment now. Amen. (laughs) All right. So we're standing on faith. Give it back. Mm -hmm. Give me back my stuff. Mm. Oh, God. Mm. Give me back my stuff. Give me back my healing. Give me back my victory. Give me back my faith. Give me back my worthiness. Give me back my promises. Give me back my children. Give me back my spouse. Give me back every generational blessing that you thought you could steal. Give me back my hope. Give me back everything that belongs to me now. ASAP. Can you type ASAP? As soon as possible. Now. Give me back my stuff give me back my rest give me back my restoration give me back my harvest give me back my blessings give me back the stream of living water give me back the prophecy that has been declared over my life give me back success give me back the word of the lord that is dwelling in my heart give it back now yes in the name of jesus give it back give it back You see, the enemy can only do some things. The enemy is cannot Mm. create. The enemy can only copy. Mm -hmm. He can only copy. Therefore, give it back. It doesn't belong to you. Yes, God. Give it back. You're taking it back. Jesus. Oh Lord, that's not even where we were going, y'all. Get your face (laughs) in the camera. Sorry, I'm going off. I'm falling (laughs) off the side. Hold on. (laughs) Y'all see me sweating already, man. (laughs) Golly. <laughs> Got me back. under these lights. I might not make it. Give Woo. it back. Give it Give back. Give it back. That's right. That's Give right. Give it back. We're aware of what's been taken. We're aware of what's been lost. We're not fooled. Mm-hmm. Right? That spiritual awareness that we've tapped in through the first three nights is opening our vision to our promise and our purpose. That's what we're hearing. And it's coming back ASAP as soon as possible. Jesus. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lord. Come on in. It's coming back ASAP. (laughs) I'm rhyming. That's right. (laughs) It's coming back ASAP. Okay. We are aware. So we're going to go. Y'all, we're going to skip around a little bit. And don't forget, if you don't have your Bible, get your Bible. 
Amen. All right. I think, you know, we're going to actually put in the description um, where I bought my Bible from because it's a really cool study Bible. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's a really oh, cool sure. study Bible. So we're going to 1 Samuel 30. All right, we're going to start here, and then we're going to head into uh, Luke. Luke what, babe? Luke 15. Luke 15. Yes, okay. ma'am. All right. Help a friend out. We're going to 1 Samuel 30. David destroys the Amalekites. Mm-hmm. David, yeah. Okay, all right. I have to, okay, cool. Hallelujah. Thank you, Shan. Thank you, Shan. Thank you, Shan. Thank you so much. So David destroys the Amalekites. All right. Uh, three days later. Hmm. This is so good. Because this is three days later, by mm -hmm. the way. This is not a cool. This is like three days later. All right. We've been playing for three days. Man, when the, when the, when the first three letters or the first three words of the of the selection hit you like that. <laughs> I know, right? You know it's about to be on. It's about to be on, It's about to be on. Okay. Somebody say it's about to be on. It's about to be on. It's about on to be on, y'all. Okay. So three days later, mm -hmm. when David and his men arrived home at their town of Ziklag, Ziklag, they found that the Amalekites had made a raid into the city. They had crushed the town and burnt it to the ground. And they carried off the women, children, and everyone else without killing anyone they carried off the women and children they carried off the generations the the descendants of the 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 david's army they carried off mm. what was most precious mm. okay not not a physical thing but a generational thing mm. OK, you tear apart the family, you tear apart the generational blessings and the promises that come. Thank you, Holy Spirit. When David saw this and saw everything that was in ruins and saw what happened to their families, they wept until they could not weep no more. How many of us have been in a position and a posture where we cry so much that we cannot cry anymore? Man. Have you ever been in a position where something yep. grieves your spirit or your soul and you're crying yep. and you're crying and you're crying till there's no more tears left to cry? Yep. Because there's some things that were stolen. There were some things that were stolen from them that that was dear to them, their children, their wives, their spouse, their generation. The generations were taken. So they knew what was attached to that. It wasn't just a momentary relationship. It was their children and their children's children and their children's children, children. You see, what is attached to you is that same blessing. It's that same miracle. You and your generation for a thousand generations. So when we say and we're putting a demand on the enemy to give it back to you, we're speaking and echoing on behalf of the generations that we do not even see. Give them back now in the name of Jesus into 2022, into 2050. Give them back now. We speak over the, the children and the grandchildren and the great grandchildren now. We pray for them now in the yes. name of Jesus. Yes. Give back their destinies. Yes, Jesus. And they wept. Hallelujah. Jesus. Mm. And they wept. David said, Bring me my ephod. And then they brought it. And then David asked the Lord. Very, very important. David didn't just weep. Mm. Okay, he wept, he cried, he was embittered, he was angry, and he found himself in a posture where he was so weak. You ever been in a position where the scripture, God will be your strength, your perfect strength, comes to life? Where you're so weak you can't get up? Mm -hmm. Where you're so weak it doesn't make sense? Where you have to have a divine supernatural strength? That is the miraculous work of the Lord. He said, lean on me. So I can show you what my strength can do for you. Yes, God. So David found strength in the Lord his God. Not in himself. Ever so often we get confused and we think that it's about us. Mm -hmm. And that we have to mount up in our own strength. We got to mm -hmm. pick it up in our own strength. We got to do it in our own strength. 
But if it was all about us, if it was an I story, then what would we need God for? Mm -hmm. He said, count on me, lean on me, trust in me. Yeah. I, will, I will provide for you. I will comfort you. I will be your fortress. Yes. Run into my secret place. Dwell in me and I will be your fortress. I will be your strength. Jesus. And then David says, Lord, should I chase after this band of raiders? I want to show you something in this as we're going into praying about the miracle. He said, should I chase after these band of raiders? If y'all are with me, he asked that question first. But he doesn't just end there. <laughs> you wanna talk about wisdom? The word tells you in all things pursue wisdom and knowledge. In all of your getting, get wisdom, get knowledge. And where are you getting it from? From God, not from your own understanding. It says lean not on your own understanding, but get wisdom. Why? Here is wisdom. Here is wisdom from a king, from a warrior from, from a, a shepherd boy. Here is wisdom. He asks two questions, not one. Can you just type, I have two questions for you, God. I got two questions. God, I've got two questions for you tonight. Lord, I've got two questions. Mm. Lord, I have two questions. For Samuel 30. God, I have two questions for you tonight. The first one, he says, should I chase after the raiders? Now, if all he asked was, should I chase after? And God said yes or no, it would have ended there. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes, chase after them. No, don't chase after them. It would have been absolute. Mm -hmm. A yes or a no. But in pursuing wisdom, David takes it a step further because he has a relationship with God. He knows he can talk to God in a way that he, God will respond to him. Can you just type tonight, God is going to respond to my questions mm. tonight. God will respond to you. Another R, he is going to return some things, but before he returns it, he will respond. Yes. The word says God is faithful to respond. Um, he will respond to you. The word yes, tells God. you, when I was in my midst of trouble, I cried out mm. to the Lord and he heard my cry. Yes. Tonight, we are crying out to the the Lord on behalf of your miracles and we are putting a demand on the word that God mm. will respond. Can you just type, God will respond to me. God, God is going to respond to me God now. Is. God is going to respond to me. Yes, Jesus. God. You're right now, God. Jesus. Thank you. God. Yes, Lord. Yes. <laughs> and then David says, should I chase after the raiders? And will I catch them? Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's good. You see, when you go into war, when you're fighting for your generational blessing, when you're fighting for a supernatural miracle, you're going to go into battle with a clear blueprint that God sets out. Mm -hmm. You ever looked at how, how generals map out how they're going to go into war, how they're going to take over the territory, which areas and routes they're going to go into, what they're going to send before, what army they're going to send, who goes first. They know the plans. You know why they know the plans, why they're asking? Because the key here is not just to go into battle, but it's to win. Can mm. you type, when I seek the Lord, mm. I always win. That's good. Jesus, I always win. Always win. I always, always win. win. Amen. That's good. <laughs> David says, will I catch them? Mm. <laughs> he said, will I catch them? And the Lord said, he answers both questions. He answers both questions. But he gives a further explanation to the answer. He says, yes, go after them. Should I chase after them, God? Yes, yes. go after them. Will I catch them? And the Lord says, you surely will recover every 
thing that was taken from you. Hallelujah. You mm. are going to recover everything that has been taken from yes. you. Both the things that you know have been taken and the things that you didn't know were taken. Mm. You're going to see some supernatural blessings appear before you and you won't understand why the check came the way it did. That's because a couple of years ago something was taken from you and you didn't even know it. And God is going to give you a double portion for what was taken for you. From your health all the way down to your spiritual atmosphere, to your mental state of mind. You're going to go back to a place where you remember maybe some area of your joy was taken from you and then tomorrow you're going to experience joy exceedingly and abundantly above all that you can think and imagine some things were taken from you so in the next 24 hours i want to see the testimonies of recoveries recoveries of things that you knew and recoveries of things that you did not know you see god said when you seek me when you knock i will reveal the mysteries of heaven to you and god wants to reveal some things to you tonight not only only does he want to reveal some things because he's a revelation based God he wants you to recover some things yes, come on Lord Ooh, that's good. hallelujah that's good. <laughs> We're recovering. not only did God say you will recover Recovering's he said all. surely mm. he said surely you'll recover everything that was taken from you can you type I'm mm. recovering everything I'm recovering everything. I'm recovering everything. I'm recovering my full health. I'm recovering my spiritual health. I'm recovering my financial health. I'm recovering my mental health. Spiritual, physical, relational, financial recovery according to the word and the will of God tonight. Hallelujah, Lord. Yes, God. Thank you, God. We ran after the miracle yesterday. Ran into the mountain. And not only were we running after, we were running after it because we got to recover it. Because the enemy must return what does not belong to him. You do not belong to the enemy. Nothing that is over you, surround you, belongs to the copycat. You are an original design. Mm. Yes, God. You're recovering everything. Yes, God. Everything. Everything, huh? Everything. Everything. Jesus. Everything. Hallelujah. Mm. Jesus. You're recovering everything. Come on. Oof. You're recovering everything. Covering all. Man. My God. My you God. You might need to wave that paper over here. My a God. Times. <laughs> Golly. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> she bringing the heat tonight. That's why I had man. to turn off the she heat. Said, you Come see under these light. I gotta push these lights back. <laughs> you gotta push this light back. You preaching tonight, man. Jeez, golly. <laughs> golly. I feel like we're in a church in Jamaica. <laughs> this is That's what it's like. You it have back. your whole old Jamaican to fans. To Kingston. Okay. To Kingston. Okay, we're recovering Ooh. everything. We're recovering Jesus. All. Let's take it to Luke. Luke 15. Yes. Luke 15. Luke 15. We're, we're putting it all together before we pray. We're putting it all together before we pray. Yes, yes, Candace. <laughs> Candace says this is how it feels in Africa. Yes, it gets hot. It gets hot. Come so, on. So let's go. We're going to go to the prodigal son. Come on. 15, okay. So we're going to go go directly to Jesus' words. And Jesus continued. This is in Luke 15, 11. Type Luke 15, 11 to help your folks out in the chat. Luke 15, 11. And I'm in the NIV. Jesus continued. There was a man who had two sons. Say two. Repair. Mm -hmm. The younger one said to his father, Father, give me my share of the estate. So he divided the property between them. Say the younger ones, you know, the younger ones, they get what they want the fastest, right? You know, that we, we're the oldest. We're the oldest. We had to work for ours, okay? <laughs> the youngest is just, give me, give, me what I, give me what I deserve. That's what mm -hmm. the... So, but, so, so, 
he divided the property between them. Not long after that, the younger son got together all he had, set off for a distant country, and then squandered his wealth in wild living. After he had spent everything, there was a severe famine in the whole country, and he began to be in need. Say, when you spend, you can't prepare. <laughs> When you spend, you can't prepare. When you can't prepare, you can't repair. Jesus. When you spend, you can't prepare. You can't prepare, you can't repair. Jesus. So he went and hired himself out to a citizen of that country who sent him to his fields to feed pigs. He longed to fill his stomach with the pods that the pigs were eating, but no one gave him anything. Say, no one gave me anything. Jesus. Jesus. You know, your his daddy hooked him up, though. Mm-hmm. 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 Because he asked. Mm-hmm. But no one gave him anything. Come no one on. else gave him anything. Come on. Not even when he was in his greatest hour of need. Of need. Of need. Jesus. Mm. When he came to his senses, say, I came to my senses. Type it. I came to my senses. I came to my senses. We're going to come back to this point in a sense just type i came to my senses yeah. how many of my father's hired servants have food to spare and i am here starving to death i will set out and go back to my father and say to him now this is you know when you messed up when you were a kid and you're in your room and you know you messed up and you're like all right I'm, this is what i'm gonna say to my mom okay i'm gonna say mom i'm gonna walk right up there i'm gonna say mom <laughs> oh, that's not happening in this house. No. That's a lower. No, they're not. That's a that. lower volume. Sorry, like that's mom. a little. That's a Caucasian. It's more like mom. Uh, yeah. <laughs> mom. mom. No, mom? that's even that too high. Mom, are you busy? Mom, yeah. Yeah, that, okay, that's where that's we right. should be at. Okay, all right. <laughs> that's the volume. Sorry, I, I'm getting home training here. Okay, so he's practicing what he's gonna say to his father. <laughs> he's thinking about it. Jesus. Okay. He's he's he says. Father, I've sinned against heaven and against you. Father, I've sinned against heaven and against you. Mm. That's, I'm going to open with that. I am no longer worthy. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Make me like one of your hired servants. How many times we're talking about a father here? And I want to bring it to our spiritual father. How many times do our environments, when we end up in places and spaces we don't belong to, then dictate what we say about our inheritance? Mm. Did you hear what he just did? Golly. He just disqualified himself from an inheritance that was promised to him because of who he belonged to. Mm. I'm no longer mm. worthy, he said because he was around pigs and around the servant. I'm no longer worthy. It doesn't belong to me anymore. That miracle that you said was mine is not mine really, God. You told me I'm a descendant of Abraham, but here I am at this job that I hate. It doesn't belong to me. Father, you told me to take my tent and go and you would make my name great. But here I am still plugging away and nobody is even acknowledging my hard work. Mm -mm. I'm not worthy. Not making enough to get by. Jesus. Barely making enough to eat. So just give me just what you would give the servant. Can you just type? I'm a son. I'm a daughter. I'm a son and a daughter. Give me what you would give somebody else. I'm a son. I'm a daughter. Ha. Huh. How many times do we forfeit our inheritance based on what we can see? Mm. 
Oh, well, that's good. My God. That's good. How many times have we forfeited what belongs to us? Return mm. it to us. Even in our minds, we forfeit our belongings. Mm. Jesus. Mm. That's good, babe. So I'm going to go back to verse 20. He got up and went to his father. But while he was a long way off, type long way off, say, he saw me from a long way off. You know, that's a good friend when they can see you from a long way off, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, at our age now, especially because exactly. you get the squint. You know, I can't even see from a shop. Okay, yeah. mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> you know, you know what's so powerful about that? Mm. Is that you never tonight, forget a face. Tonight, mm. we're saying we're praying seven days, miracles. God is on the seventh day looking on tonight. Looking back. He's looking at you right now from day seven, from day 14. He's seeing your future from a long way off. off. He's checking for you to return. I like that. He's seeing your future from a long way off. Off. He's That's like, I, I, I see you, Lisa. He ain't Lisa. looking back. He's no, he's not turning no pillar of salt. He's not turning to salt. That's, I it. see you, you see Lisa. Yes. I see you, Zoe. Mm -hmm. I'm looking Amen. for you from a long way off, Trisha. Yes. Come on, Brenda. Hallelujah. Come on, Paulette. Come on, Nicole. Hallelujah. I see yes, you. God. I'm waiting for he you. He sees your future from a long way off. Jesus. But while he was a long way off, his father saw him and was filled with compassion for him. He ran to his son, threw his arms around him, and kissed him. And the son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you, and I am no longer worthy to be called your son. But the father said to his servants, Quick, bring the best robe, Watch out now. Bring the best robe and put it on him. Put a ring on his finger and sandals on his feet. Can I just go back here real quick? Go ahead. Okay, can oh, I? I can see you. You ready okay, to run? Okay, can we go back here? I better here? put them runners in the chat because she's about to go here? run. Okay. He says, put on, put, he said, he says, bring him the best, best robe. robe and put it on him. Okay. And David. Oh, we going now. Go back to Samuel. We're going back to Samuel, Samuel here. Samuel thirty. David says, mm -hmm. "Where are we? Lord, help me, God." He's at, we're going right to seven. Seven, seven, seven. So yes. thirty, verse seven. Then David said to Abiathar the priest, "Bring me the ephod." What's an ephod, y'all? It's a robe. <laughs> Did y'all see that? <laughs> Look at your guy. Look it's at that. It's a robe. It's a robe. It's a robe the high priest wears when he is going to convene with God. You know, linked to this notion of recovery in these two stories is also another R word repent now when we hear repent a lot of times and if you're in the old church that word that word repent is attached to shame mm -hmm. and shame has us looking where future or past yes. has us looking to the past it's got us turning into pillars of salt but it comes from a fundamental misunderstanding a lie about what the word repent actually means in this context and the word repent in this context is trans can be translated into the Greek metanoia. Mm. Metanoia means meta changing noia perspective. Jesus. Oh my God. Can you just type, I'm changing my perspective? I'm changing my perspective. I'm changing my perspective. I'm changing my perspective from shame. I'm changing my perspective about changing my perspective. Jesus. I'm changing my mind about whether or not I can actually change my mind. That's what's going on here. Changing your perspective 
from a servant to a son mm. and a daughter. Changing, Changing it from a defeated, a defeated person in battle to a recoverer. Mm -hmm. And what did we have to do first? What is David and what does the father know the son needs to put on first in order for recovery to be fulfilled? You got to put on the cloak. You got to put on the robe. You got to get in gear. You got to get your gear prepared. You got to expect to get your stuff by wearing the stuff, the things that connect you to God. Jesus. Put on your armor. Put on your spiritual armor. Now, put on your spiritual armor and get ready to receive and recover all that is meta noia it's the ability to change my mind when i am at my lowest my god when i am at my lowest jesus that is what repentance looks like that is what david did that's what the son did i'm going to look to god god i know i know i don't have the answer in this situation i am not in control god I, but I am ready to come back home. I am ready to get everything back home. I'm ready to recover all. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready for my inheritance. I'm ready. I'm ready for my robe. I'm, I'm ready. ready for my future. Put on your robe I'm and get ready, ready to for run. my miracle. Mm. I'm ready for my healing. I'm ready for my belonging. I am re ready to return. I'm ready to recover. That's I'm right. ready to pursue. Amen. I'm ready. I am ready. Amen. I repent by changing my perspective. Yes, I'm God. ready, oh God. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Get that robe on. Be cloaked in confidence. Be cloaked in confidence. Yes, God. My God. I'm ready, God. We ready. Can I know this group type? is ready. I'm ready. I'm ready for my miracle. That's right. I'm ready for my miracle. That's right. We ran to the mountain. Mountain to mountain. Now we're here and we're saying, God, we're ready. We're looking forward. You saw us from afar off. You knew our every need, God. You know the, the hairs on our head. You know the desires of our heart. You know the silent cries that we cry at night. Father, we're ready. Yes, God. Father, we just come to you tonight in prayer. Praying, God, we're ready. Yes, God. Seeking you, God, with repentance on our heart. Not repentance from shame, but repentance from the perspective, God. Yes, God. Having us perceive that the environments that we're in dictate the environments that we belong to. Yes, God. Having us perceive God incorrectly that the environments that we're in dictate the state that we are supposed to stay in. Mm. Father, we thank you. We're sons and daughters seated with you in heavenly places according to your will. We're ready, mm. God. Just like David approached you and put on the ephod, he said, I'm going to seek the Lord. But before I go before you, God, I'm putting on my armor so you know that I'm ready. Yes. I'm ready to hear from you, God, to see the perspective that you see, God. I'm ready for my miracle in the name of Jesus yes, to recover, to return, to be ready. Yes, God. Father, ready your children right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Where people have tried to strip them of their cloak, strip them of their robe, strip them of their inheritance, put on an armor of shame. God, we rip that off in the name of Jesus tonight. Yes, God. Putting on the robe, boy. And they're running back to you, Father. Yes, From afar, you see them, each and every single one of them. Yes, God. You told us, God, in your word, you know our every single need. And you're faithful to provide. You said, God, we would be lenders and not borrowers. Above and not beneath in the name of Jesus. Yes, God. That we are no longer orphans, God. We're no longer slaves to fear. Slaves to anxiety. Slaves to poverty. But we're free. Mm. Because our inheritance guarantees that we're free in you, God. Yes, 
When we crossed that river, Jordan, Father, when we crossed over, you said we were free. Yes, God. We put on the robe tonight, God. Yes, God. We put on you, Lord, your full spirit. Everything that you have called us to be, we're stepping into that right now. Yes, God. We're stepping into that repented perspective. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Not looking back. Not becoming the landscape and a pillar of salt, but we're moving forward, Father, in your word, because we're ready. Yes, God. Forward, God. We're ready. We're moving forward. Yes, God. We're ready, Lord. Yes, God. Your sons and daughters are ready. Hallelujah. We want to see your face. Hallelujah. We want to experience your miracles in the land of the living. Hallelujah. That's what your word tells us, God. Yes, God. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. We come before you, God, with the definition of repentance in the accurate perspective, Lord. Mm. Not from a body of shame, mm -mm. but from a body of the rescued. Hallelujah, Lord. Yes, the God. delivered, the set free, the transformed, yes, the God. healed. Yes, God. The loved, yes. the celebrated, mm. the encouraged. Yes, Lord. The victorious. Hallelujah. Because when we ask, like David asked, when we put on our inheritance that you have provided us, because you said that you are our Father who mm -hmm. art in heaven, and we know your name. Yes, God. You will tell us the answer. Yes, God. You will recover everything. Yes, God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We recover everything. In you, we win. In you, your children yes, win. Yes, God. We always win, Lord. Hallelujah. We always win, Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Yes, God. Ooh. Man. And you, God. Mm. Hallelujah. Man. That's good. Jesus. Y'all prepared? Are y'all prepared? I hope y'all are prepared. Not looking back. I love that, Lisa. We ain't looking back ever again. God. We ain't looking back ever again. We have the metanoia. Our minds, our spirit have been changed. We are expecting our miracle as we run toward it. No matter what challenges we face, no matter what challenges we face, we know who to ask. That's right, Raquel. Raquel's like, remember Lot's wife? We ain't looking back. That's right. Remember Lot's wife. We are running forward. Forward. Amen, Nicole. Amen. Maybe the word for tonight was repent. Maybe the R was repent. Every, every I think they're just coming. The, the, We're just getting multiple them all. R's. We just getting multiple them all. R's. You all, we love you. We love you, my God. That was Absolutely. so good. I need to get a robe. <laughs> you, got, you got robes? Hold up. <laughs> Don't make me break out the robes. You I got need robes. a robe tonight. I'm about to put on the prayer show. <laughs> but you need, you need, yeah, you got to get the, the I need yeah, the official the ephod. ephod right now. Yeah, the ephod. My God, you That's always right. win with God. Amen. You always win. Just ask the Lord. Ask God. This is not about an individual this is not about i david david was a mighty king a mighty warrior but he still took his battle plans to the lord that's right amen he still knew that's that he good. had to take his intentions his perspective anything that he needed back to god mm -hmm. every, time. every time seek he first the kingdom and then what else everything else will be granted amen Hallelujah. Y'all, I love y'all. We love y'all. <laughs> okay? Appreciate y'all. Y'all already me. know we can stay on. I'm saying we can stay on. <laughs> we could. <laughs> I mean, I might not stay awake for the whole thing. <laughs> Chris always says, you know, babe, you you don't know how to end the, <laughs> the streams. I'm like. Uh, as I don't want this one to end. This is good. We, we're good. We're good. We're good. <laughs> well, we love you all so very much. Amen. My God, my God. I, I know.
there's going to be some miracles by the end of this week. I know there are some things that are going to be happening. Please share what you are experiencing in as your mind and your spirit becomes focused on that future. Please, please share that with us. It means the world to us more than anything. And uh, we'll keep praying, mm -hmm. as always. Yeah, yeah. And today was day four. It was Today was our, we needed to come on here for this. That's, yeah. Too. It was our, you know, when we were praying earlier, we were like, God, God, Make we're a believing. Way. Make we're a believing. Way. And he was like, okay, not in your own strength. That's right. Not in your own strength. Put on that robe, my God, my God. The, Raider, mm -hmm. the Raiders aren't, the sleep Raiders ain't catching us today. <laughs> exactly. Not happening. Exactly. Well, we love you guys so much. And don't forget to just email us, share this, share this, yeah. just share this with whoever needs the word, who, who needs to experience God in a real way. Yeah. The word of the Lord, God is, 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 it's an experience. God is, is, is a, our father. Yeah. We're meant to, to experience the Lord and the fullness of his glory. Amen. So share the word. Amen. It is edifying. It, it, it uplifts. It rebuilds. Amen. It recovers. Jesus. Mm. A lot of miracles needed out there, y'all. Yes, yes. That's yes. right, Miss Paulette. Yes, yes. All right. Oh, I was like, is that good? You gotta give me. <laughs> no, I just wanted to say, great job. Like this, I don't know what I don't know what you're doing. I was just trying to give you a high five. You oh, are right I, over we there. We can't do the high uh, five like. Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> we actually have a family handshake you guys oh, yeah, but can we do it from here i don't know we, Look at can my we get the arm? extension my arm our, our arms are both short we're both stubby <laughs> i'd be forgetting <laughs> we're we gonna work on the family okay, handshake we'll, again we'll, we're gonna recover the family we're gonna handshake. <laughs> We'll do that one tomorrow. You yes. Guys. All right. We love you guys. Y'all have a great night. And we will see y'all tomorrow about what time? Midnight. Amen. About midnight. Have a great night, y'all. Love you. Bye. Bye.